Hello and welcome to Swamaker Flowchart Maker. This dynamic tool mainly creates a flowchart according to the data you input and settings you adjusted instantly. The template is constructed by two parts. These are the dashboard and the flowchart itself. So let's start with the dashboard. Before we go into the details, let us show that you can turn on and off the instructions from here. To have a clear view, let's turn off for now. The dashboard has two sections, it's the data and the settings. In the data part, input your flowchart data by its shape ID, description, next ID, decision labels and shape type. Next ID position and shape color columns are optional to build your flowchart. So let's give an example. This is a dummy data of a patient flow in an ordinary hospital and you're assigned to create a flowchart of a patient flow. And the flowchart that it should look like is this. Enter your data in this format. Determine your start point. Enter the steps to be completed and give them ID to be able to connect them later. In the next ID part, determine the ID or IDs that the shape is going to connect. Type down your decision labels if you have any. If your shape is a decision, which in other words, if there are going to be at least two arrows coming out from your shape, the decision labels have to be in the same order with the next ID section. For example, on the third ID, if we typed four in the next ID first, we have to put in what condition it goes to ID four, which in this case, it is no. Once you're done, select your shape types. The only thing that you have to do is click on the cell and choose it from the drop-down menu. If you don't select any shape, the template will automatically create that shape as process. It is not necessary to input data into these last two optional columns. However, by inputting them, you may customize the template according to your needs. You may determine the next ID's position by drop down menu in here. And lastly, you can determine the shape color from the drop down menu in here. These drop down options for color can be adjusted in the color settings part, and we will get there. In the settings part, adjust your shape and color settings if it is necessary. Chart layout determines the layout of your flowchart. You can either make it horizontal or vertical. With the shape height and width, you can set the height and width of the shapes to be constructed. Shapes gap property will help you to set the gap property between shapes while constructing your flowchart. You can also change the font size by typing the, ne the necessary font size into this cell. In the color settings, you can add new colors into the cell if you would like to customize and paint the shape colors from the flowchart data. If you don't state any shape color and the data, the shapes will be colored in with the first color in the settings. Also, you may change the color of the connecting arrows and shape font. Let's say you forget the patient pays hospital fee part in the flowchart and you would like to add it. You want to add patient pays hospital fee right after need medication and give patient prescription but before patient leaves. Go to the dashboard and input your new data. Once you input your data, press on 
that create flowchart. And as you see, we got the patient pays hospital fee right after need medication and give patient prescription and also before patient leaves. Let's say you would like to change the construction of the flowchart. You want to see available doctor on the top and need follow up on the top right and for some reason you have to make their shape color light blue. As you see in the settings there is no light blue however you may customize it by filling in the cell with a new color and type light blue to the left cell. So let's say that we will not need red at all. So we're typing light blue and then we fill in the cell with a light blue color. Once you do that you will be able to adjust the color as light blue and you also have to make the start and end orange let's say. So shape color orange the end is orange and you would like to make light blue all any other shapes. Let's say that you that you would like to also make the chart layout vertical and plus you would like the shapes to be bigger and the gaps also a bit bigger and you want the font size to be 13 and you also wanted to see the available doctor on the top of the record health condition and also need a follow up right on the top right of the assigned patient to doctor so all you have to do is find the seventh ID which record health condition and you want next ID position which is the available doctor is right on top and then when you want need follow up to be on the top right of assigned patient doctor you have to make top right for the one shape before once you create flowchart you will see that the new flowchart is going to be constructed instantly. It is also possible to edit manually by dragging the shapes like this. You can get a PDF document of the flowchart by pressing the button export to PDF. And lastly, you can delete the dummy data by pressing on clear existing data button. It is going to ask, this will erase existing data you want to continue. Once you click on yes, your data will be erased. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check our other templates at www.someka.net.